Wow. Well, students at Saturday's March for Our Lives rally were quick to call for a ban on assault weapons, but do they really know what that means? Listen. For banning an assault weapon, do you know what an assault weapon is? Yeah, it's an um, assault weapon. It's like a... Um... What is an assault weapon? I consider, I consider any... I don't, I'm not even against just assault weapons. I'm pretty much against most guns. Um, like, I know, I guess. Right. No, I guess. Here with Moore's media director for CampusReform.org, Cabot Phillips. So, Cabot, you went out yeah. there and wanted to find out what people were protesting. You found out assault weapons was one of the things they wanted. We went out asking a different set of questions, and after interview after interview, everyone kept saying we need to ban assault weapons. I thought, surely they'll know something basic about it. And it was very clear they did not. And look, if you are going to advocate for real-world policy that will impact millions of Americans, mm -hmm. you need to have real world answers and be ready for a debate and uh, I think a lot of this stems from a lack of appreciation and understanding of the Second Amendment so I began to ask them about the Constitution people's Second Amendment right to self-preservation and the responses were about what you'd expect I think that the Second Amendment at this time is outdated I think that the wording needs to be revisited I think it's something that was meant for a different time I think the Constitution in and of itself is something that's outdated. I don't think it applies in today's society. I don't think it leads to anything good or productive or peaceful. They're so right. Just tear up the Constitution. <laughs> yeah. Never leads to anything good, like a country. And we've been seeing how in classes, something we see all the time on college campuses with Leadership Institute's campus form, how people don't actually learn about the Constitution in class. They're not learning about how it's meant to people in society today. I wonder if this same logic applies to the First Amendment, because the Founding Fathers, they never could have imagined Twitter. They couldn't have imagined YouTube and all these things to get rights out there. Or freedom of the press. Should right. we restrict the right of all journalists because a few journalists are, are misusing the freedom of the press? It's collective punishment for the actions of a few individuals. And now these same people, again, it's good that young people are getting involved, but you need to understand some of the basics of, of what you're asking for, because these are real world laws that mm -hmm. will affect many people. You know, as a reporter, when you go out, you get a feel for the story and then you yeah. come back to the news newsroom to write your story and yeah. you say, all right, what was the, what was the, what was the story out yeah. there and what, what would you say if I, I asked you I think the that? main takeaway was number one, how organized it was. I think a lot of people are interested in uh, who is helping all this organization. It's obviously not just students that are doing it and mm -hmm. it's, it, that was an interesting aspect of it of who is organizing all of it. And number two, it was definitely how passionate the students were about change, but how many of them had not actually been taught on what kind of change they were looking for right. and they didn't have many specifics. So it's and, more like they're against school violence. Yeah. They just don't know and, what to do about and it. And everyone's against in school violence and right. this sadly the thing that I noticed is when the second I began to push back a little bit people start to say well you have blood on your hands if you don't support stricter gun laws you support school shootings that's the the uh, the breakdown that we have now of you it's all one or it's all the other but the instinct should be security yeah. they will why yeah. was I gunned down nobody was shooting back for me yeah. but there's not that sentiment didn't prevail it goes against yeah. logic and it also goes against you know they said we haven't seen any action taking place since then we've seen legislation in Florida we saw the Stop School Violence Act right. here in D.C. And there's a narrative, Fix though, that Nick's in the if, budget. Exactly. If we don't get exactly what we want, then this is not action. And that's not how legislation works. That's not how compromise works. And we need to do what's going to keep the most people safe, address the root of the problem, not yeah. just something that we view as scary, in this case, assault weapons. Maybe if you're going to protest something, you should know exactly what, what you're, you're protesting. That's an important part of it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, thank Excellent. you very much. The most important part, probably. probably. Thanks so much, Kevin. Meanwhile, rumors.